Kim here from Unpolished Gardens, and I thought I would give you an update on how well um, the row covers are doing, and they're doing really, really well. I'm surprised. We've had some really cold temperatures, but um, everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to give you a look at it now, and, and it's been windy, so the row cover kind of got pushed back yesterday, but it rained, so everything is just looking really good. Um, there's the lettuce, and we have... Lots of garlic already came up. So I'm really, really excited about the garlic. And um, and they're all up under here. I gotta fix this because the wind's blown it off. And there's carrots still looking good. And then get everything buttoned up for the colder weather coming in. And I've gotta put some fresh straw in the chicken coops and get that all tucked away. And then I'll tell you something that happened to one of our chickens. Um, so stay tuned for that but right now I'm getting this row cover put back on We're gonna go get the straw. And coop one is finished. And here's where the story goes. If you can tell, there's only three babies. Um, yesterday when I went to lock the chickens up at night, cause I do free range, um, but the baby chickens don't. So I'm not sure exactly how all this happened. The only thing I can gather is I didn't latch their um, door very well and they got out. That's the only thing that makes sense. Um, I went to lock the big chickens up and usually when I go out they're already in. But I went outside and two of them were still outside of the coop and I kind of thought that was strange so I was trying to get them back in and lock them up and when I look in there there's, well, I count my chickens and I'm missing a, one of the big chickens. And I saw a chicken in the corner and I, it was black and white. I thought it was a chicken. It was black and white, so I thought that was my chicken, only it looked a little small. So I proceeded to try to get them in there and lock them up. And then I saw what I thought was the chicken pecking at something dead in the coop. Um, Uh, so what was in the coop was a chicken hawk um, I'm not I'm not sure what happened I didn't have a light it was already dark and so I just went out to lock them up so I got my daughter to come out and uh, she had her flashlight on her phone and we looked at see what it was eating because I was missing a big chicken and we realized it was one of the baby chickens. So she went and checked the coop and there were no baby chickens there. So all four of them, all four of them were gone at that point. Um, then uh, I did get the chicken hawk out. Um, I used a rake and the sharp end of the rake and pulled it out of the coop and we did kill it. Um, it wasn't a very big one, it was a small one about the size of my little chickens, honestly, so, um, and at that point, we didn't know where any of the other chickens were. We were missing four other chickens. Um, three of the babies were gone, and then one of the big chickens were gone. And I went and looked at the coop again, and there were, there was one baby still up there roosting up by the light. It was, um, casserole. And so I knew that we had at least one of the Americana still left. Um, I almost thought that the other ones weren't dead because it picked on Nugget, the one with the scissor beak. Um, I guess she just couldn't fight it off because she couldn't peck with her beak. That's the only thing I can think of because 
she ran into the big chicken coop, but I think that the hawk um, cornered her and she couldn't really defend herself. And there were, I guess at that time, there were no other chickens around. It was late when it happened because I had just seen them all. So um, I'm not really sure. It looked like it had just happened, um, but there were chickens in the coop and I, I'm not really sure. So after we got rid and we, um, we killed the chicken hawk and I cleaned out the bottom of the coop where the where little nugget was, um, I locked everybody up and I was hoping that maybe some of them would be here in the morning. And then I went outside out front and I saw two of the babies just perched up by the front door. So I, um, and it was soup and it was um, pot pie. So I picked them up and took them to their coop where they were safe. And we were still at that point missing uh, one of the big chickens. And I looked for her and I couldn't find her. I looked in the trees and I, I just didn't know where she was, where she was hiding up at. And um, so this morning we go out, it rained all day yesterday. And this morning we came out and the big chicken was here. Now she looks like she is missing some feathers on her back. Not a very, not very many, like she's fine. Um, but there are a few feathers like missing. So I'm not sure if the hawk tried to get her first and she was too big and then you know, went after Nugget. Um, really not sure. But at this point, we've only lost the one. And so we have three babies, and the six big ones are still here. Um, it's just really sad about little Nugget. I guess it probably, she probably would have never been able to come out because of the beak problem. Like, she couldn't probably free range because she definitely couldn't peck the ground, and she couldn't defend herself if she needed to. Um, it's just really sad because she was so pretty and so friendly and she was just a really good chicken and that's the story on what happened to poor little Nugget. All right and coop number two is clean and they are happy and we are still getting a pretty good amount of eggs. Um, they haven't slowed down and we do have a light up here so that might be why. And I have a couple squash I'm gonna cut open and go ahead and give it to the chickens. And I wanted to just show you how well the containers are holding up. If you haven't seen that video on how I built these containers and what I used, uh, there should be two videos up. So go ahead and check them out. I can link them up above. And there's our, there's my chicken. His name is Ernie. And then Bert is over here. There's Bert. And there's the second container. They've held up really nicely. Thanks for hanging out with me today as I was covering up the beds that the wind had really, really just tore off my row cover. And they are working amazing. I'm at Amazon. They work wonderful. And um, you saw uh, putting the straw back in the chicken coop and filling up their, uh, well, I did fill up their feed and their water, but I don't think I put that on video. But I did get fresh straw down for them. Since it's rained, it's kind of wet in there and all around it. So we've got that taken care of. I gave them the rest of the acorn squashes and they'll hopefully they'll enjoy those tomorrow because it's supposed to snow tonight. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And until next time, bye guys.